Hi everyone, I'm just doing this small video just to map the reservoir rate strategy so everyone can follow it. So in here you have represented uh, the buildings that you will see on the reservoir rate. So uh, we will uh, split this into uh, four main sections. So in here you will have section one, okay? This is one, okay? In section one, we will have two buildings, 1.1, this one, and 1.2, this one, okay? This area here will be our area two, okay? Same thing, you have 2.1 here, and you have 2.2 here, okay? This area, we will call it three, here, three, in here you have um, the building 3.1 and 3.2, okay? In here you will have area four. It's consisting only of these two buildings, correct? Same thing here, uh, 4.1, 4.2, here. In here we will call this one here building five, this building six, and this center. I'm doing all of this because uh, no matter the stra strategy that we define for future uh, rates, you will have this on your mind. So it's easier for, for us to set uh, guidelines and indications. Even when you're playing uh, with live, uh, we can just say, okay, we need help and at 2.1, you automatically know this is the one, okay? So how this will be played, you have three phases. So phase one, uh, we will divide uh, in five teams. In total, uh, when we send uh, the strategy, you will have six teams. But since on phase one, only these four areas will open up, we will divide two to one of the teams around. So you can see your name on two uh, different teams because in phase one, you can be uh, on one place and on phase two, you can go to another place. So we will divide this the first, first four into five teams, okay? You will have uh, one team uh, here, 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 and one backup team. So, team one goes here. If you're 1.1, you hold here. If you're 1.2, you hold here, okay? Same thing for all the four different areas. Team five is the one that's been split up between all these. Okay, we send one here, one here, one here, one here, and we and we send one to team six. Team six is the team that uh, stays on the side for the first phase. <clears throat> Their main purpose on the first phase is to see if there's any kind of trouble, someone needs reinforcing, someone needs help, uh, they can pop up and help. Uh, team five is being split, so... Phase one purpose is to hold these four areas, okay? When you see the the guidelines for the teams, the, uh, the members of each team, then you, you will check where are you and you have to be sure because we are considering four teams because even though this has two buildings, you have to watch out for both. So even if you're a leader of team one, you will be responsible for holding this one, uh, but the co-leader will be responsible for holding this one. So you have to help each other. You're not far away. So if the enemy pops on here or here, the team needs to do some assistance. Don't forget about that. Second phase uh, opens this area here. So how do we work when this one opens? When this one opens, team five is the team that has one member on each of the teams, okay, will go to center that's the team that's going to center team five the leader of team three will go to six and the leader of team four will go to five okay since both these leaders can do multiple rallies they can leave one behind not it's it can cannot uh, can be the secondary uh, rally and do the first rally, the main rally here to hold this one. If it's quiet on these areas, uh, the remaining members of the teams can send one reinforcement here, 
uh, from here to here, from here to here, okay? Don't forget, you will always have to watch out the area that's closest to you. So here, these two, one, six opens up. If you're here, try to look to this, okay? The, me the members of team six, in uh, this phase, they can move around here or set themselves here or here or even close to central. <clears throat> Why? Because next phase will be very important for team six. When you see those water tanks starting to pop up around the map, this is the team responsible for getting them all. Okay? So, uh, this team is re responsible for aiding everyone that needs help, uh, reinforcing anyone that needs help, and on the final phase, to gather all these resources. Okay? Even, for example, if you're on one of these teams, one of the, these four teams, uh, or uh, not on Team 5, because Team 5 on that phase will be pretty focused here. Uh, and if you are having a quiet time, no threats, you can also do some uh, water gathering, okay? So, this is a schematics, a general one, so you understand the dynamics, okay? Uh, you get these numbers. On future raids, even if we change our strategy, for example, if we go for a more offensive one, we can use this team, 6, okay? So, this gives us uh, a little bit of room to change with time. Uh, this one, we are going with a more conservative approach. So, uh, get these numbers. You'll have the information about your team, and let's try to follow the plan as it is, okay? Thank you, guys.